Hey, Mark Rice here, and today I will show you how to rotate your flight design character. It's easier than you think. So, let's start. Ok, so first I will import the file. Go here in the project tab, click with the right mouse button, then go import and hit file. Ok, cool, here I will select my illustration file and hit the import button. Then choose Composition and Layer Size and click OK. OK, cool. As you can see, here I have Composition. So double click on it. And that's it. And now everything is here. But before we move on, we need to create vectors from these layers. So select all layers. OK. Click with the right mouse button and select Create Shapes from Vector Layer. Ok, cool. So now I created vector layers and I will delete all the layers. Ok, just select all layers and hit delete on the keyboard. Ok, cool. The duration of the animation is very important. So go here in composition, then composition settings. And here I need 4 seconds and 1 extra frame, just in case, then hit ok. Ok, cool. As you can see in the name I have outlines for it and I won't delete that. I want to keep everything clean so click with the right mouse button and click rename and just delete it. Ok. I will do that with all these layers so I will speed up a bit. Ok, that's it and the last step for this part will be colors for the layers. So select left ear, hold control on the keyboard and select right ear, left arm, left hand, right arm, right hand and left and right leg. Ok, cool. So go here and you can use, I don't know, red color for example. Where is the red? Ok, cool. Ok, in the second part I will show you how to create a rough animation from this character. So first I will select these red layers. Ok, duplicate it with Ctrl plus D. Cool. And create a composition for new layers. Ok, click with the right mouse button and hit pre-composition. The name for the composition will be reference because I will create a reference from this layer. I will show you. Just click OK. Double click on it. And now I need to change the colors. So I will select left and right ear. Go here. Change to green for example. And now I will do the same with other parts, but here I will change the color for the stroke. And I will use the same green. Ok, now close the composition. And back to the main composition. Ok, here I will change the position of the layer. Now I will delete left ear left arm, left hand 1, left hand 2, and left leg. Ok, and I will animate right parts of the character and after animation I will copy these parts and use it for the left side. Ok, zoom it a bit. And now we will start the animation. So first I will select the right leg and go here. Open the right leg layer. Ok. Then content. Then group 1. Path 1. Go on the first frame. And create the first keyframe. Just hit this stopwatch icon. Ok, cool. Now I will go on the last frame. And do that again. Cool. 
After that, we will go in the middle of the animation. Okay. Double click on this point here. And change the position of the layer. Like this. Okay, and I will show you the first step of the animation. Look at this. Beautiful. Select the layer and hit U on the keyboard. Now my keyframes are visible, but without mess. Okay, and now I will repeat it with other layers. So select the right hand to layer. Okay. Go into the layer and create a keyframe on the first frame. On the last as well. Okay, and here in the middle of the animation I will do the same as I did with the previous layer. Okay. Cool. Select the layer, hit U on the keyboard, and then move on. Go inside of the layer, create the keyframe on the first frame, one more on the last frame. Okay, and here in the middle, repeat the process. Double click on this point and move it here. You need to repeat this just a few times and it's much easier than you think. Believe me. Okay, select the layer, hit U on the keyboard. Then I will do that with the arm as well. Okay. Cool. And for the years I created the just shapes. This is outline and this is just a shape. So I'll use position settings for that part. Okay, go on the first frame, select the ear layer, hit P on the keyboard and create the first frame on the first keyframe. Okay, on the last as well. And in the middle, I will move it here. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so now I can delete this reference layer. Just select it and delete. Because I don't need it anymore. And after that you need to copy these red layers. So select these layers and use Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V. Okay, you can change the color for these layers. And and change names as well. Okay, rename. This will be left ear instead of right. And I will do the same with other layers as well. It's slow process, but I don't know about you, but for me, it's fun. I love this. Okay. And now we have the left layers and the right layers, but everything is same for now. So select these left layers. Okay, hit U on the keyboard. Delete the first keyframes. Okay. Then select other keyframes. Okay. And change the position. So the keyframes from the middle of the animation needs to be on the first frame, okay? And now I miss that keyframes on the last frame. So I will copy the first keyframes for that. Control C, Control V. Okay, Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V, Control C, Control V, and Control C, Control V. Okay, let me check. Okay, cool. It's cool for now. 
Now face. So I will select these layers. Hit you on the keyboard. Face. Okay. So select the face layer. Hit P on the keyboard for the position settings. Create the first keyframe on the first frame. Then go here. Okay, maybe five frames after the one second. And move these shapes to the left. Okay, cool. Now go just one frame further and move the shapes to the right. Okay, now I will copy this last keyframe, Control C. Okay, go here, Control V. And for the last frame, I need the keyframe from the first frame, Control C. Move here, Control V. Okay, and for now, I have animation like this. As you can see, for now, these shapes are outside of this shape. So, I will copy the head layer, Control C, Control V, move it up. So, the face layer needs to be below the head tool layer. Okay, go here and use Alpha Matte Head Tool. Let me check. And before we continue with the final touch, uh, I will animate the shadow. Okay. So select the shadow layer. Go inside. Group one. Okay. And here, add trim path. Cool. Go on the first frame and select the keyframes for the start and the end. The start will be 30, end will be 70. In the middle of the animation, the start will be 0, and the end will be 100. Okay. And for the last frame, I will copy the keyframes from the first frame. Something like this. Let me check. Okay, that's it. I like it. Okay, so, so far we have animation like this. And now it's time for the final touch. So first, I will copy these shapes for the left part and the right parts. Okay, select these shapes and use Control C, Control V. Move it here. Okay, and you can change the colors or not. Then go in the middle of the animation and select just left layers. So, for the left layers, I don't need this side, and for the right layers, I don't need this side. So, select the left layers, hold Alt on the keyboard, and hit Open Brackets. Okay. Now, select the red layers, hold Alt on the keyboard, and hit Closed Brackets. Beautiful, except this part. As you can see here, I have this pop-up. But I will fix it, okay? So, I need to fix my right leg. Okay, go here into the layer. Select group 1. 
go here and add trim path okay so create a keyframe for the end on the first frame and type 70 here okay so as you can see now it's clear here on the middle it will be 100 and here copy the first keyframe okay it's done it's pretty good i will copy these keyframes and do the same with the left like so go inside the layer select group one and add trim path go here and uh, copy the keyframes something like this okay now let me check okay cool we can make it more smooth okay i will remove the composition for now then select all layers except the background hit u on the keyboard okay then select all keyframes like this and unselect the face so hold control on the keyboard and unselect the face layer and after that hit f9 for the smooth animation like this okay let me check okay beautiful and the last step will be i will select all the layers except shadow and background then i will create a pre-composition from it okay type here all for example click ok then select the pre-composition layer and hit p on the keyboard create the first keyframe on the first position okay and move the character up a bit something like this copy this keyframe on the last frame and here in the middle of the animation i will down the character something like this select these keyframes and hit f9 okay let me check Okay, that's it. I hope that you like it. If you like it, be sure to check out my other videos and stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Oh yeah, peace.